G'day folks, welcome to another episode of Stuff and Such. It's been quite a while, so I'm glad you joined me in my ugly mug. I'm just going to do a quick little video, I think today, it's been forever, but. So right here we're near some raised garden beds. Um, it's early, actually it's kind of late June. Kind of things should be producing a bit better in the garden, but this is where we're at. In this bed here, we have some carrots, as you can probably hardly tell. Unfortunately, home hardware seeds here have proven to be junk, so good thing they're not a sponsor because uh, I wouldn't recommend them at all. So, I planted I think four packages of carrot seeds in here and the tall ones that are coming up, you might be able to see them. They're uh, the only thing that really came up from those seed packages out of four packages. There might be a total of 40 or so here. And you can't really see on the camera, but we do have a second uh, seeding in here. And they are starting to come up now. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you one bad thing that I learned this year and it kind of stunted my garden a little bit so maybe if I can keep you from making that same mistake it'd be helpful. Before we get too far on this video I better uh, mention some sponsors. My sponsor you know it's got uh, Pepsi uh, product here. I uh, am a good fan of them. You know they're uh, constantly on the, on, on the side of champions so that's why I only drink Pepsi. Anyways let's get on with the video here. Subscribe. So the plant we have here is a just a regular bell pepper. Um, so as you can kind of see, it's it's reasonably high. And then you pan over to over here in that corner. And for comparison, I'll put my sponsored uh, product beside it. So that's the one pepper. As you can see, it's kind of pitiful. The one in front of the can is actually Swiss chard. There was uh, the seed from last year that stayed in the bed. So just disregard that one. And then back to the original pepper, pepper here. Right here, put the can there. Better not spill the Pepsi. As you can see, it's much further ahead. Now, these were planted around the same time and there's only one difference and I've noted it with all the plants I tried. I'm going to see if I can dig it up here for you. So I've dug it up and it's no longer evident it's broken down but uh, basically I don't have a good example right now, but what I did is because of the craze that went on with this COVID nonsense and everyone thought they should be an amateur gardener, all of our local um, gardening centers cleaned out quick, real fast. They ran out real fast on, uh, on gardening products, so I, I didn't have any planters, so I used egg cartons. And I planted them directly in the egg carton because it seemed like as they're sitting in the little trays. So I had filled these trays up with egg cartons and filled them up with soil and it seemed like the roots penetrated in them but what ended up happening and we noticed it with our tomatoes also is that the, the roots they got bound up in there and they wouldn't actually produce. They wouldn't grow so they're finally just starting to plow through um, these tomatoes believe it or not they were planted probably about 30 days ago and they were about four inches high and they're just finally starting to go you can you can tell they're starting to go over here's another decent example um, down here um, it's hard to, hard to see, but 
the one these are squashes and the one squash right there is just finally getting ahead the one over here is about uh, one right there is about half the size one over there is about half the size and that one's about two-thirds so you can just kind of see the progress of breaking down that those uh, those cups of those egg carton cups and it, uh, it really sets your garden back hopefully that video will help you uh, not make that little mistake bear in mind that just because our gardens look kind of pitiful right now we are in northern Ontario so our seasons are probably well there's some of the latest gardens in the area with our uh, like in the in the continent so give them another month they'll be getting after it pretty good anyways thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you in the next video I'm gonna do a video on uh, little method I've discovered it's kind of basically it's a uh, I hate weeding method and I'll probably shift a lot to that in the near future so I'll make a video on it for you guys and we'll catch you the next one take care guys Ma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.